Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new kit that just arrived on our container and we have them on our website andyshhq.com and of course if you live in Europe or the rest of the world they're also available on our website andyshhq.eu. This is the brand new 35th scale medium tank T72M 3-in-1 kit from Das Werk. This is in cooperation with Amusing Hobby. So basically what this is is Amusing Hobby just recently recently a couple months ago made a T72 a beautiful kit but it had a full interior so Das Werk went in partnership with them to create the non-interior version so if you're like me and don't want to build a lot of internal parts uh, and just have a nice looking piece that has all kinds of detail on the outside this is a great kit for you right there it's also a lot less expensive too because you're not paying for all the internal parts that would be on side there so this is a great looking kit I'm excited to share it with you so Let's get started! Okay, let's start right in with the hull. And as you can see, it is a bathtub style hull. Get you in there nice and tight so you can see all of the detail on here. there. Next up we have our turret and hopefully we can show you really well the texturing that they've put into the, the, the turret here. Make it look like it's been cast. Just like that. Next up we have this little sprue. This has the turret ring like some of the other parts that make up the turret. And now we have this sprue here that has parts of the upper hull. I want you to look at all of those. It is really nice that a company like Dustwerk has come out with something like this that if you are not a big fan of building all of the inter uh, internal parts, you know, the interiors on these, that you have the option, also a lot less expensive than what the interior kit would be, but you do have the option to build it up without an interior, and that's something I appreciate quite a bit, because not always interested in building a lot of interior kits, but this one has just enough parts. Now, this is your torsion bar suspension, so the suspension works on this kit, and also you'll notice too that the fuel tank has been slide molded. That's what that is right down there. And once you get in there, see the detail like the, the tow hooks, little pieces like that. And of course you're going to get two of this particular sprue because there are two fuel tanks and the torsion bar is needed for the inside there. Uh, next up we have our side fenders and some of the other parts that make up the hull. And I'll just get you in there nice and tight so you can see all of that. There we go. And now we are going to look at the, the sprue that has all of the road wheels on it and some of the suspension parts. Here are the rest of your torsion bars mixed in through there. But right off, I'm going to show you the side here. All of this has been slide molded, parts of the suspension. We've got our drive sprocket, the idler wheels, the actual wheels themselves, the main wheels. And then all of these parts down here have also been slide molded. So we have our tow hooks and it looks like these are probably the smoke grenades. Those have been slightly hollowed out. There you go. So on this particular sprue there is actually a grand total of three of those. So you get, I guess you're going to need all that for all the road wheels and the extra suspension parts. So there are three of that particular sprue inside the kit. Next up we have our anti-ditching log that the, uh, they carry on the back of it there, and the barrel. Here's our front fenders, 
some more suspension pieces. And some of the other parts that are on there. And next up we have a uh, part of the turret ring, the part that actually looks like mates into the, uh, the actual hull. And then we've got part of the turret itself. You can see the texturing on there. Looks like the, uh, the shroud for going around the matlet on the barrel. And there's that sprue there for it. Now next up, I'm going to actually just pull the bag out and show you the track. So they are individual tracks, get the focus on there, that you just need to clip out. They are slide molded on the side here, so the little holes are in there. And that is because you are going to get a bunch of these sprues, which has the assembly jig inside of it, and then the individual pins, which I'll kind of get in there tight so you can see how those are. So those pins will go in basically just like that, and make the tracks workable. So you have a workable suspension and workable tracks inside here. So you get this big bag right here, cut those off and you'd be done with that. And then of course you have these little pieces here that you'd cut off, I'd assume all at one piece so they would probably fit. It looks like they're, they're properly spaced for uh, using that. And then of course you get a big bag of those too for all of the track pins. And the final piece of plastic, let me move that out of the way, is our clear parts sprue. That is it right there. There we go. And now let's look at the uh, photo etch, all the other little accessories, and of course the instructions and decals. And here that is, I'm not going to open this particular one because you'll be able to see what photo etch comes inside this kit already. As you can see here, we've got a decent amount actually inside here. So all of the grates are nicely done. Some of the other parts that are done up on it there. And the decals themselves are just a, uh, an insignia for looks like four different countries which we'll show you inside the instructions in a minute. And then a whole group of numbers here that uh, will be able to make any basically any tank you want out of there. The reason I'm not opening this right here is just if I don't want any of this stuff falling out and getting lost in the meantime. And you also get a bag with some string inside of it there to create the tow cables. Looks like it's twisted line and there's also some vinyl tubing inside of here which is pretty uh, pretty nice looking. Actually it's not vinyl tubing it's actually a spring tubing in there so it maintains its shape and that is also included inside there as well. And the last thing we're going to take a look at are the instructions. This will give you a general idea of how the actual kit goes together. And I'll let you just look at those for a few minutes here. Always good to show you the instructions. Sometimes it answers a question about how something is, how it goes together, things like that that could uh, make you say yay or nay on a particular kit. like Dosswork has given you some pictures and so I'm going to zoom in on this for a second. This is the way the fuel tanks are. So they give you, that's what that metal line was, was to create the uh, the fuel tank um, plumbing. And you see how that is a spring. Oh, that's very nice looking. I like the way they did that. That's a nice little feature. And we get over here to the turret. The rest of the turret. And finally, the markings, and that's that's pretty simple how that is all going to go on there. So it looks like we have German Democratic Republic, or uh, East Germany, in the 1980s. And we also have Hungarian Army in the 1990s markings. We have Czechoslovakian Army, 1980s. And the final set of markings inside are Iraq. 
um, from 2006 that they, I guess, purchased from the Hungarians. So it's a uh, repurposed Hungarian tank turned into an Iraqi one. And you see Ammo by MIG did all of the uh, color codes on top of there. So you get quite a few different options for you to choose. And of course, you can always buy aftermarket ones too, that if you wanted to change it into anything else that you, you see like in real life right now. Well, there you go, guys. There is a quick look at the uh, the brand new kit from Das Werk, the 35th scale medium tank T72. Uh, this kit is available on our website right now at andyshq.com. And if you live in Europe or the rest of the world, it's also available on andyshq.eu. And they're in stock right now. A great price on this kit because it is absolutely beautiful. And I think it would be a great addition to your modern Russian armor collection. So, so I want to take this opportunity to thank you for watching. And please stay tuned because I have many more videos coming.